Hey guys, hello and welcome to VHDXV Social Condura Drives. If you've never driven in the snow and this is your first time that you want to drive in the snow and if you're making a road trip to a place where it snows a lot, this is just the video for you. Here's everything that you need to know. What it is about driving in snow, what are the precautions you need to take. So first and foremost, we need to start off with is you need to make sure you have good headlights on your car and you have good fog lights because visibility is extremely important when it's in snowy conditions. It's also very helpful to have a nice 4x4 like this. Sedans are not recommended for snow, especially for new drivers. If you're seasoned, you can get away with a sedan as well. The most important thing to remember under the hood is it doesn't matter which engine that you have, a petrol or a diesel. When it comes to the windshield wiper fluid, do not fill plain water. Because when it's temperature like these, when it's negative 5, negative 6, that water inside the engine compartment where your windshield reservoir is, is going to freeze and you're not going to have any more action from your windshield wipers, which are extremely important here in the snow. So make sure you get antifreeze from one of the shops over here. You mix that with water and then that goes on side over here as well. The second most important thing that you need to do is make sure that you have snow rated tires on your car. All of these snow rated tires, they're studless and they're stud as well. These are studless tires, which means you can drive on the highways with these and you can take them out here on the snow as well. Ample amount of ground clearance is also very crucial, which is why it is recommended that you use a four wheel drive and you have high ground clearance. Normal driving on the, sand, on the snow is very similar to how you would on the sand. The only difference is sand is extremely soft, but snow, as you can see, is a little stiff and it does tend to slip around a, a little bit. You don't necessarily need four wheel low, but you do need your traction control to be working on all the sides. You'll be extremely gentle on your throttle and extremely, extremely gentle on your brakes because there's a very high chance that you can slide around. The biggest difference between driving in snow and sand is in the sand, if something goes wrong, you can just jam your brakes and you stop. On the snow, there is no such thing. If you jam your brakes, you're going to be sliding all across. Four wheel low is also a good option to have. And then when you come around to the back of the car, you obviously have your rear windshield wipers and the front windshield wipers. Use them as much as you can. When it's snowing, make sure your lights are on as well so people can see you in the lot. And it's also beneficial to have a tow hook. So in case someone's stuck, you can actually pull them out. And it's also important to have the recovery points up at the front to make sure that if you get stuck, someone can pull you out as well. There are a few other features that are inside the car, which is worth talking about and that is worth explaining about. I'll go inside shortly and then show you all of those things as well. In terms of tire pressures, we keep the normal tire pressures. We do not need to deflate down as we would on the sand. On the snow, you don't really need to do that. The biggest piece of advice that I'd give you is 2x your reaction time so for example if you would normally keep one to two car distance when it's snowing make that three to four car distance watch what the car in front of you is doing at the same time pay equal amount of attention to what the car behind you is doing let's say the driver in front of you is cautious the driver behind you is not cautious if he brakes really hard if he starts slipping around you need to make pervasive actions to make sure that your car does not get damaged. If you're renting something over here in any of these snowy conditions, make sure that your insurance covers any damage due to snow and make sure that you have a good set of brand new tires. You do not need to be going to these snowy sections with bad tires. This current car that I'm driving is a diesel, so it really helps. I was under the impression that a diesel would create problems in the snow with turning on and all of that stuff, but it seems to be doing really well. Again, same like what you would in the desert. If it gets extremely tricky, if it scares you, do not approach that. Wait for the other car to go first and then take your turn as well. Let's go inside and I'll show you two things that you need to know on the side. Go to the inside and everything that you see here. There you go. Now, a couple of new features, a couple of new buttons that you would see on this one as well. First one that you would notice is this button over here, which is actually the windshield warmer. So when you switch that button on, what it does is it basically heats up the windshield water fluid that you have over there. And like we said before, it has to be a mix of water and it has to be a mix of antifreeze. But in really cold temperatures, it helps to keep that situation warm as well. On the left side over here, you'll see another option which says idle up. Now what the idle up does is it keeps your RPM at a slightly higher temperatures and a slightly higher RPM. So about 1,500, what that does is it helps the car warm up much easier than it would. So down here, you would have your standard four wheel high and four wheel low selections. The other interesting thing over here, which you'd see is your second start. Now what the second start does is it starts the car off on the second gear. So you don't have that instant friction and you don't get stuck when you're taking off from a huge pitch of snow as well. And also the hill descent control, which is there in all the cars and particularly useful in snow when you're going down steep stuff as well. At all times, drive carefully and make sure that you pay attention to the mirrors and make sure your wiper blades and everything is working in stop condition. Drive safe and stay well.